Our last speaker for today is Mike Bruning. He is a physician assistant in the Division of Hospital Internal Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. He's an instructor of medicine in the College of Medicine. He has his bachelor's of science degree in biology with a minor in chemistry and Spanish. His clinical interests include PA student education, PA education, and practice improvement. Please welcome Mike. All right, good morning, everyone. Last presentation, so thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, today, I'm gonna to be talking about point of care ultrasound updates, um, or POCUS updates, uh, as you'll hear me refer to it um, throughout the, the presentation. Um, so just where we're starting on the same page, point of care ultrasound is this relatively new thing in medicine where a clinician can bring an ultrasound machine to the room, the clinician can uh, obtain an ultrasound image of whatever organ they wanna look at, interpret that ultrasound image, and then integrate that finding in real time into their real time decision making to help narrow a differential diagnosis, come up with an evaluation plan, make a diagnosis, or come up with a treatment plan. Um, just out of curiosity, does anyone use diagnostic POCUS here in the room? Okay, a very small handful. Okay, we'll have a lot to talk about today. Um, I, I first learned point of care ultrasound about five years or so ago, and it has completely revolutionized my practice. It's something that I use on a daily basis in my hospital medicine practice. Um, and over the years, I've had you know, story after story where I'll pick up a patient from the emergency department or one of my hospital medicine colleagues, and I'll change something with regards to the diagnosis or the plan of care um, based on my ultrasound. And my colleagues will come to me and say, they'll, Mike, you are so, so smart. And I'll say, yeah, I am. But the truth is, I'm not. The truth is, I just know point of care ultrasound. So I can find things that their history and physical miss. I can see my patient's physiology in real time. And I think that makes a huge difference in the care I can provide. So let's get started. So first, I don't have anything to disclose. As far as scope goes, I'm a hospital medicine PA, so I deal only with adults. So regardless of how acute this kid is, so cute, right? We're not gonna be talking about pediatric focus. But man, that is a cute kid, right? Objectively speaking, really cute kid. <laughs> All right, you caught me, that's my kid, that's my son. But talking about adults today. Um, just a, a couple basics. Here on the left of the screen, we have an ultrasound probe. For those of us who don't know ultrasound, this is the ultrasound probe. This black arrow here points to the face of the ultrasound probe, and that's what actually contacts the patient's skin. And that is represented by this line up here. 